Ladies and gents, boys and squirrels, as you can see, we're going to be mounting up some more shelves today. I had a shelf here, didn't quite like how it was panning out, so I went and grabbed these ones. What do you say, Meeks? Do we get it done? Unboxed, it looks like this. Got a bag of bolts, and a bunch of zip ties, so go ahead and cut all of these off. This part is so boring, isn't it? Next thing you should do is grab some painter's tape. These racks are about 44 and 3 quarter. Go up here, mark where you want it to start, mark where you want it to end 44 and 3 quarter later. From there, take your stud finder, run it along the wall, and then if you can, closer in, probably by about 4 inches if you're lucky, mark with painter's tape where it is. And then what we're going to do after you know where your studs are, we're going to take tape measure, measure off a leveled surface, bring it up and put your first dot. That will be your screw hole. Go over there, measure the same amount from that level surface from there to the top and put a dot. Same length as this one. So you have both your top holes. So at least then you know that you're the same amount off of this because this surface is going to show if you're out. That being said, a bulkhead like that could be not level. This could be not level. So it's always good to make sure you clean off a spot and put a level on it to make sure that you're on a level surface. Next thing you should be doing is where your dot is, take a screwdriver, a small one like so, and poke in there and make sure there's wood there. Also make sure you're banging on it to make sure if you hear the sound of metal. If you do, and you're in a high rise, that's because you probably have metal studs. But if you start doing this and you're hearing tinging or it's not sinking into the wood, you should technically be able to smack the back of the screwdriver and it'll go in and you'll feel it's wood. I say this because I want to make sure you're not going to hit a pipe or you're not glancing blowing a stud. So if you really wanted to, you can go like this and then go on a bit of an angle and then hit on an angle just to see where the edges of your stud are so you're pretty center so your leg bolt isn't going to hit the side of the stud and crack the stud. In case you're curious why I always do the center bolt first, it's that way so you can level it. As you can see, this one's just a wee bit, just a wee bit up. How you adjust for that, as you can see up there, just slight bonk. See if you moved it all. Leave it. What we need to do is make it so it's not so high. Oh, that's way too much. Of course, wait till this stops flipping around. Oh, we're pretty darn close. I just need to love tap it back the other way, but we're basically level there. As you can see, it just has to come over just a wee bit more. After that, put in your top bolt because it's the easiest and then your last one for support. So if you take a look, admire the welds right here. The ones that go side to side, make sure this is facing up. If these are on the bottom, they will not fit on those hooks properly. So now that we have the ones going front to back on the bottom, Drop that in, drop that in. See how these hooks are pretty close to lined up? All we'll have to do is kind of squeeze down as we go in, like that. Squeeze down and slide it in. Oh, back one didn't go in. So, it can be a little bit fun. There, that's in. This one's in, just like that. Now you need your two rubber stoppers. Now, you can do two different things with these. You can either put them up here and slide them in behind here, or you do them at the back. If you do them at the back, which is actually my favorite, and things aren't gonna get in the way up here. Let's say you put boxes or something up here. There is a ridge up here to keep you from sliding stuff off, but if you put that rubber up front, it's gonna catch it over and over again, and I think eventually, it's going to pull your rubber stopper out. So you can either do what the instructions say and put it right here. I'm going to put them on the back. So that way it still holds our metal grates in, 
but it doesn't uh, get caught every time I slide something in and off of the shelf. There's the first shelf up. Next thing I did is I measured from the top of that tote to the bottom of here. I got about 20 inches. And then what I did is I measured from right here to this bolt and I got 22 inches. So what I did is I measured from right here down to here, 22 inches. And then I measured from right here, once again, down 22 inches, put the next mark here. This is gonna be my center bolt hole. Again, you just need to see how much space you want in your shelves. I want 20 inches in between the two. So next thing to do, pre-drill these and shoving the bolts in the center holes on those brackets. Well, both shelves are up and that's how it looks. Hope this gives you a show and shows you these shelves are actually really good. I would definitely recommend them. Thanks again for watching. Hope this video helped you out. Stay tuned for more. Anything else, Meeks? Everything good? Do you like treats? Yeah, of course you like treats. Do you like likes? Do you like subscribers? Oh, you got gotcha you at subscribers.